What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Raudeza Reviews. I'm Raudeza, and I wanted to share something with you today because I did reach another milestone. A small one, of course, but I think an important one, and one that I wanted to share with the fans of the show who really helped me to get to this point. I really appreciate everything that you've done, and especially for those who kind of pushed me over that threshold of a thousand subscribers in the Discord. Guys, you're amazing. I really appreciate it. And even the weirdos that for some reason come in and make asinine comments, I guess you're my weirdos i don't know guys you gotta stop being socially awkward it's really kind of crazy regardless of that guys i can think of no better way to celebrate the thousand subscriber threshold than probably a figure from one of the coolest animes and something very near and dear to my heart i always get emotional when i talk about cowboy bebop it's just really awesome guys and of course we have the signature character which is probably one of the best protagonists in anime Mr. Spike Spiegel. So today we're going to be reviewing Good Smile's version of Spike Spiegel from the celebrated anime Cowboy Bebop. Let's take a closer look. Now the man really needs no introduction. If you haven't seen this anime, I don't know where you've been. He's the man, the myth, the legend, Spike Spiegel, along with his motley crew of other bounty hunters. Now the head sculpt here is really well, well done, guys, and a perfect recreation of what we see in the anime. And I want you to take a look at the hair sculpt, which is fantastic. Countenance in the face is great, and I even love the tint of green in his hair. It's just absolutely spectacular, guys, and I'm glad that Good Smile is actually making these figures because they're very affordable. Now, Spike only comes with one real accessory here, which is 9mm, and for those of you who are gun enthusiasts, I'm sure you'll get the nomenclature, I'll get it wrong, but it is pretty detailed. Now, I have to admit, it's not as detailed, but that's okay. Again, this is a budget figure, but they are going for that more anime look, which is fantastic, I never have a problem with that, and it does represent that anime look in this figure, which is fantastic. Overall, it's really cool that we get this accessory, and it is removable. Just be careful with it, guys. Now, I did mention that this figure is budget-friendly, but it doesn't mean cheap, and especially in the art style and the overall direction that they went in. Now, the midsection is very detailed. I love the sculpt in the folds of his suit. Obviously, you get that iconic collar and the kind of loosened tie, which is fantastic. I love the fact that he's got one hand in his pocket. That's just really awesome, guys. Again, very anime accurate, and it's one of the things that is the greatest appeal about this figure. It just looks really cool, guys. One of the things that I'm getting from this figure is that budget doesn't mean poor quality because there's very little QC issues here. You know, Spike in the anime is a relatively lanky and thin guy. You wouldn't know it though, because once he kicks you with one of those roundhouses, he'll put your ass on the ground. Now the sculpt in the trousers are fantastic here. I particularly like the color palette. If you notice, it's a slighter shade darker of blue than the actual suit itself, which is, again, very anime accurate. I love the sculpt in the shoes themselves as well. It's really cool, guys. Again, it's very simple, understated, but anime accurate, and that's what we're going for here. Now, I wouldn't say you have to go ahead and mirror this piece because there's not too much going on in terms of the overall detail, although you do get a greater appreciation of the overall sculpt in the collar and the color palette, but most importantly is in the hair sculpt. Look at the details in the shades of green there. Again, very anime accurate, and I love that. You get a greater appreciation of how he stands and how he attaches to the base. Overall, I think it's just really cool. That's a very nice profile, by the way. Now, in terms of the stand, I'm glad that they went with a kind of simple hexagonal base. It's in a flat black. Not much going on here. It's very understated, but actually that I think is a positive thing. Since you're going to get the rest of the crew, I think that for uniformity, once you put them together and display them together, this is going to look really nice so that they're not mixed and matched. And it also has the same amount of, I guess, floor space for your actual shelves or where you're going to be displaying them. So I think that's actually pretty cool. Here's the thing about these pieces, I know that they are higher end pieces of Cowboy Bebop, but they're very expensive, and as I mentioned before, budget doesn't mean cheap, and I think these are definitely the perfect compromise, so they're a definite must own, and they're certified, these are freaking awesome figures guys. And I like the fact that you're going to get the whole crew, you'll be able to get all of them at a fraction of the price, and that's why I'm highly recommending these. They're very detailed for their price point, so they're a must own. Now before I go, I just want to thank the folks over at Big Bad Toy Store for sending this wonderful piece over for review. And if you're interested in this and other collectibles, please visit www.bigbadtoystore.com. 
Now, I'm also going to be reviewing the rest of the line, so stay tuned for that. And once again, guys, thank you so much. I'm so excited to finally reach 1,000 subscribers. I thank you all, and I look forward to more reviews. All right, everybody, so that's my official review of Good Smile Company's version of Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next Raudeza Reviews. She me, she me. 